Hey, welcome to Celebration Elevation. I'm Teresa, and we are starting out today with my new Christmas series, The 12 DIY Gifts of Christmas. The first gifts we're making are these flower sack tea towels or kitchen towels. You can buy these on Amazon for less than $20 for a stack of 24. They're great. They're fully cotton. I'll put them on the description below, and we're going to get started right now. Okay, so here are my, here's one of my tea towels. These are 100% cotton. I got them on Amazon. It was a pack of 24, I believe. And I think it was maybe $12. It was very inexpensive. And these are actually really good. Um, I washed them all. And then what I would say is just lightly iron them. You don't have to have like all the, they don't need to look pristine but um, just have it so that when you're using your stamps on them, there's not like a bunch of bulges interfering with the stamps. That's what we're gonna do first, is I'm going to take the, I'm gonna take this off, because this is what I was ironing on. And now I'm gonna take this and some cardboard and I'll show you what we'll do. Okay, so, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you my face today because I have been sick for, today is day number 12. And I just feel like yucky. That's why my voice still isn't back. I can barely hear. <laughs> I don't have COVID. I have something else, but I don't know what it is. It's miserable. So anyway, this video is just going to be me showing you what to do. So now I took a piece of cardboard because that's what I'm going to use so that I don't get paint on both sides of the towel on the other parts of it. So I wanna do it so that I'm, when I'm folding the towel up, like in thirds, that the pattern will show. And so I think that this is the best way to do it. I'm just folding it up as if I would do it, like if, if I'm folding the laundry, how the pattern will show. Okay, so this is kind of an awkward shot, but I wanna make sure you get what I'm doing here. So. I have the tea towel, I fold it in thirds, I have the cardboard right here underneath the first layer here, and this is going to be the middle of actually the tea towel because I folded it in thirds, one way and then the other way. And, <clears throat> and then I took these stamps that I just got at Michael's. I put one on the little, um, little stamp board that they have now, the block, acrylic block. So what I, what I did was I, I'm gonna show you cause I'll do it again. So what I did is I took the light color, which is the, the undertone pink. And I just, this one I just like smeared all over. Well, I do this with like a bigger brush, that would be better. I smeared all over the flower. Cause I'm just, I'm just doing this so that I can get like the outline basically of the, where the flower will be. There is that, and now I'm gonna just take a little bit, a dab of the light green, and just show where the stem is. Okay, so now, let's say I wanna do another one, kind of next to it, but, and this don't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna push down really hard to make sure it's gotten all of the area. Okay, so see how that's outlined there? Go closer in if I can. Okay, so see how that's, that's outlined there? Now what I wanna do is I wanna take, um, this is just a craft sponge and I got it wet and wrung it out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the light pink color that I just did and just sort of um, dab it around i know it seems like i'm sort of like why am i doing this I, you you know if you wanted to do like the the first little stamp with like a dark stamp or something else you don't have to do it with the paint because you're you're going to cover it up like this anyway but i'm just showing you so um and then i took the light green and i just kind of stamped it down like this Okay, now 
without even cleaning <clears throat> my stamp, I'm going to take my green, my dark green. So what I did was I got a light color. This one, for instance, is, um, where does it say your color? Kiwi. And this one is sour apple. And the kiwi is the lighter one. The sour apple is a little bit darker. And then with these, this one is cotton candy for the light pink and then fruit punch for the darker pink. So now I'm just gonna take the darker green, which was, it, I believe, the sour apple. Put it on, on there. I'm just gonna clean off my brush. And I'm gonna go in for some of the darker, the darker pink now. And I'm going to, am I really like getting this in your line of vision? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there. So I'm getting this one now. And I'm just gonna paint the dark color pink all over the stamp because the only part that's going to hit the towel is the raised parts of the stamp so it doesn't matter if you're you know being messy with it and I had seen um, I don't know if you've ever seen my 100 year old house um, Leslie she has a great website um, She's an artist and she has amazing ideas and she had done something like this with like pillow slips and I thought it was so pretty and so I just wanted to do it with something that I would use more and that I know my friends would use more which would be uh, kitchen towels. Okay so now I have this all like this and, I, and it's nice because you can see through it. It's clear. So I'm just going to go about where it is and push down and there you go do you see oops I just want to show you it's actually really really pretty let me back up a little really pretty I love this so these are how we're gonna do our kitchen tea towels and it's not like a really long, difficult process. Um, if you enjoyed this, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I'm doing the 12 DIY gifts of Christmas this year, and this is my number one. So today's is the tea towels, and I'll finish it up and then I'll show you at the very end with this video. But also, you can go to my website at celebrationelevation.com and on the very top of the screen, you'll see a pink banner and it says, um, give me the free DIY, um, 12, 12 DIYs presents of gifts of Christmas. And you click on that and you can print out the schedule for the 12 projects that I'm gonna be doing between now and Christmas. And I think they'll, they kind of fit in for everybody's gifts somewhere. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I wanted to show you actually, I thought of an easier way to do this. So I'm just taking my stamp and I'm just running it lightly over this, I don't know if it's a black or a gray um, stamp pad I have. And it's not made for fabric, so I don't care if it disappears. So I'm going to use this. And can you see me? I'm going to stamp right here. And it gave me the outline. So now I'm going to go through <clears throat> and do the light pink all over this part, the light green over this, and then re-stamp the dark pink and the dark green, and I think that's gonna be way easier. So I just wanna show you that. Okay, one last thing. I got better lighting over here. I'm sorry about that. So, not only did I make it easier by getting the stamp and just stamping this, but I, I'm doing that 
in stages now instead of just doing one flower at a time which is kind of ridiculous I don't know why I didn't think of that maybe it's my illness creating brain fog or something I'm just going to use that as an excuse but so now I will go ahead and I will blot on the light pink onto all the flowers and then I will blot the light green onto the stems and then I will take the paintbrush on the actual stamp again and I'll paint the dark color on the flower petals of the dark pink and the dark um, green on the stem of the flower so and then th that will give the same effect but we can use do it much faster than we were so I just wanted to show you that and I think that's it guys <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you very soon for project number two. Thanks.